We had dozens of firefighters go through that door and many more dozens of residents come out to evacuate. The firefighters who went in had many challenges, including high temperatures, heavy smoke and a lot of debris in the home. It's a lot of stuff from shoes to hairspray to stuffed garbage bags. They're all on the ground behind this East Chester Road apartment building, having been tossed out of a third floor apartment that firefighters called a quote hoarding situation. From the landing above the apartment, you can see that it was full and it all caught fire, according to witnesses. I was so scared that like, I just changed, put my pants on and I left. Everybody started yelling and running around and they got crazy quick. They were among the dozens of neighbors who had to evacuate at around 7 a.m. when the fire broke out. Jeremiah Batista lives directly above the apartment where the fire was. I opened the door and it was just this wave of just smoke and I woke up my mom and I was like, we have to get out of here. He and his mother had just moved in four days ago. Witnesses say that a man and a woman had been taken out of the two bedroom apartment by firefighters who climbed over and through debris to reach them. The two perished. A relative who did not want to be identified said that there's a third housemate who lives here who was spared all of this by being on vacation. By early afternoon, people were able to start trying to move back in, but they're doing so with two of their neighbors gone tragically. It's very sad, honestly. I, I feel bad for them just because it's part of our community and it's always sad to see someone that we know or that, that's part of our community, you know, get lost in the community or just like, you know, not be part of our community anymore. 